Hey guys, okay, so today in this week's video, I was brainstorming about what I could do for a video and I was just really bored last week because it was super hot and when it's super hot, I literally like want to sit around and do nothing or jump into a pool, but I don't have a pool near me. So I planned some ideas for y'all to do a what to do if you're bored in the summertime video. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> So in this video, I will be showing you some fun ideas that you could possibly do when you are bored in the summertime because we all have those days where we're not out in the summertime and we're like inside because, you know, like me, I don't have any friends, so. <laughs> but yes, I had so much fun making this video and planning this for y'all, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and stick around. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Whoosh. So the first idea I have here for when you're bored in the summertime is to do a board bucket DIY. And this is something you could do with your friends or on your own. All you'll need are popsicle sticks, a bucket of some sort, chalk markers, and that is all. So first off, I'm starting off with my bucket, which I got from Target, and I'm just going to write bored in summer, and please excuse my handwriting because this chalk was not good, girl, but anyway, I'm just going to write bored in summer because that's what this bucket is going to be, and then with my popsicle sticks, I'm just going to write some ideas on what to do if I'm bored, whether it's inside or outside or active or not active fun or not fun so just write literally anything you could possibly think of and then whenever you're bored you could just whip it out and here are just some ideas that I came up with such as going to a park when you are bored and I think that's something that's summary and something you could do with your friends and it's just things you do when you're bored okay okay <laughs> and this could possibly be a cute room decor for you if you want as well <laughs> So the next thing you could do if you're bored in the summertime is to do some DIY snacks and I recently made some DIY summer treat ideas so be sure to check that out. So for this one you're going to need graham crackers, frosting, blue food coloring as well as some goldfish crackers and we're doing a little under the sea theme right up in here. Okay, okay. So you're going to first by starting off putting two drops of blue food coloring into your white frosting and just mixing that together until it's a nice ocean blue color. So once you have the two colors mixed together, you're going to take some graham crackers, placing it into a Ziploc bag, and then crushing it up until it's really fine. And we're going to use this as the sand for our little treat idea, and you're really going to want to make sure it is like super fine, like myself. No, just kidding. Um, and then you're just going to want to spread on your frosting onto the graham crackers about two-thirds of the way. That way you can leave some extra space for the air quote sky. Okay? Okay. And then once you're done spreading it on evenly, you're just going to then want to sprinkle on your crushed up graham crackers at the bottom of the graham crackers just to act as like the sand in the bottom of the ocean and then just sprinkling it that on so once you're done sprinkling on the desired amount of sand that you want in the bottom of your ocean you're now going to want to place your goldfish crackers in the water and just having fun with this and placing them wherever and these turned out super tumblery and if you do recreate any of these treats then be sure to tweet me these pictures at flawless kevin So the next idea that you can do in the summer when you're bored is to make a music video. No, I'm totally kidding. Make a chalk bucket list so we can relive our childhood memories by drawing chalk on the sidewalk on a nice summer day. And honestly, I had so much fun putting in my creative side and just having fun with this with my little sister outside. So I just made a little summer bucket list of things that I could possibly do or wanted to do during this summer 2015. And here are some of uh, ideas that I came up with, such as a bonfire, a beach, working out in a music festival, and oh my goodness. It was just very reminiscing, girl. Leave me a comment down below letting me know some of the things that are on your summer bucket list for this year. So my favorite idea here that you can do when you're bored in the summer is to have a water gun fight with your friends or with your sister or whoever you have and oh my goodness it was just so much fun. I think it'd be so fun with like 10 million people and just like squirting at each other in the hot blazing sun. So this was really refreshing and really fun and I definitely recommend doing a water activity especially if you don't have a pool in your backyard. So water gun, water balloon, whatever works for you, go to Target and pick one up. It's just yes. 
So the last idea I have for this video is to do a spa night, especially when you've done all the other activities I've done in this video. So just turn on your water bath and plop in a lush bath bomb. And you know me, girl, I'm, I'm obsessed with these lush bath bombs. And make sure you watch that beauty dissolve and take an Instagram pic while you're at it or something. And also sometimes I like to use my Lush Dark Angels charcoal scrub and exfoliate my face. And it's great because it has charcoal in it and it absorbs all the oil because I'm one oily motherfucker. You know me, girl. But then sometimes I like to use my spin brush and get that extra gunk out because of the hot sweaty months. Like you don't want none of that girl. So this is just like an extra step I do every once in a while just to treat myself. So usually when I'm done exfoliating and everything for my skincare, I usually just wrap it up with my simple cleansing water. And I usually just wipe this all over my face just to make sure it is sealed and a capiche. You feel me girl? You feel me. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. I would be sure to appreciate it. And y'all have been liking it like no other recently. So I'm going to be giving a, let's see, let's hit 150 likes. Let's try to hit 150 likes and see if we can do it. And also I want to give a huge shout out to all of you because we hit 9,000 subscribers and we're so close to 10,000, which is crazy to me because literally it's been going by so fast. But anyway, um, yeah, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to leave me a comment down below, letting me know what you would do in the summertime if you were bored. Um, and yeah. But before I leave real quick, I just want to give a huge shout out to the Spin Brush for giving me the opportunity to try this out and it's awesome. So if y'all are interested in using the brush and use it this video, I will have a link in the description down below. It's originally $100, which is like expensive and it's so useful, especially if you want like a Clarisonic but inexpensive. So they were nice enough to give me a discount code for y'all, which is Flawless Kevin, and you can purchase this brush for only 30 bucks like hello that's like super cheap from anywhere else so yeah link will be in the description down below um be sure to check that out if you are interested and i'm trying to turn it on where is it there it is <laughs> but yes they include a bunch of different brushes not just for your face it's like exfoliating your body and everything and 30 bucks like that's a deal especially comparing it to the clarisonic so be sure to hop on that spin brush girl. And until next time, stay flawless and have a blessed summer. Bye. My beautiful masterpiece just got ruined, as you can tell, because of the stupid neighbor's sprinkler system. Like, what are what are the, what are the chances? Like, really? Blah!